Kia ora, Chris back again, and we're going to get into the next episode of Game of Thrones. So last time we had our boys John, Davos, Gendry, uh, the Hounds, Thoros, Dondarrion, or Beric, um, uh, Tormund, oh, Tormund, head beyond the wall to meet up with the uh, White Walkers, uh, and hopefully to capture, oh, and Jorah, and hopefully to capture one to take back to Cersei to prove that the uh, that the White Walker army is real. We also had Sam leave the Citadel. He, I think he's had enough. We had the revelation that uh, Rhaegon had his marriage to Ilya annulled and married to someone else. We all know who that would have been. But we're going to get into the next episode, Season 7. Episode six of Beyond the Wall. Let's do it. How'd you get your balls from freezing off? You got to keep moving, and that's the secret. Walking's good, fighting's better, fucking's best. Yeah. <laughs> Woman within hundred miles of here. We have to make do with what we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we spent too much time with the free folk. Now you don't like kneeling. <laughs> Man's Raider was a brave man. King beyond the wall never bent the knee. How many of his people died for his pride? Wow, Tormund. You still mad at us, boy? You sold me to a witch. I wanted to join the Brotherhood, but you sold me off. Do you know what she did to me? She strapped me down on the bed. She stripped me naked. Sounds all right so far. <laughs> Was she naked too? She needed your blood. Could have been worse. She wanted to kill me. Was but it they didn't, did they? So what you're whinging about? <laughs> Your lips are moving and you're complaining about something. That's whinging. <laughs> this one's been killed six times. You don't hear him bitching about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let bygones be bygones, Gentry. Your father gave me this sword. Changed the pommel from a bear to a wolf, but it's still long claw. It's been in your family for centuries. It's not right for me to have it. Hmm. It's yours. It'd serve you well. And your children after you. Yeah, I mean, come on. You gotta start popping out some ears. <laughs> He used to watch us from up here. Now he's dead. Killed by the Lannisters. With your help. That's your pretty handwriting. Fuck's sake. They forced me to do it. Did they? I remember you standing on that platform with Joffrey and Cersei when they dragged Father to the block. You were there. I was mm. there. And what did you do? Did you come running to the rescue? We're standing in Winterfell again because of me. You didn't win it back. John didn't win it back. The Knights of the Vale won the battle and they rode north for me. You never would have survived what I survived. I guess we'll never know. Wow. <sighs> What's she going to do with that letter? I don't know yet. To tell I'm scared the Northern Lords will read it. They wouldn't think much of Lady Sansa if they knew how she did Cersei's bidding. You're angry. Sometimes anger makes people do unfortunate things. Sometimes fear makes them do unfortunate things. Well, I wanted them back together again. <laughs> Gotta get all this shit out the way, I guess. Ugh. But this is playing into exactly what fucking Baelish wants. God damn it. You're the one they call the dog. Fuck off. Are <laughs> you born mean or you just said why? Gingers I hate. <laughs> we are kissed by fire. Just like you. Don't point your fucking finger at me. <laughs> you want to suck my dick, is that it? <laughs> Cock. Ah, dick. I like you. <laughs> Thank you, do. Oh my god! I, 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 I have a beauty waiting for me back in Winterfell. Oh god. <gasps> Back there, you're with Brienne of fucking Toth. Well, not with her yet. <laughs> but I see the way she looks at me. 
And she wants to carve you up and eat your liver. You do know her. <laughs> We've met. I want to make babies with her. <laughs> Great big monsters that conquer the world. How did a mad fucker like you live this long? I'm good at killing people. <laughs> Back in torment. Torment is my heart. A wildling friend told me the Red Woman brought you back. The Lord of Light never spoke to me. I don't know anything about him. I don't know what he wants from me. So what's the point in serving a god? None of us knows what he wants. We're soldiers. We have to know what we're fighting for. So what are you fighting for? Life. Death is the enemy. But we all die. The enemy always wins. And we still need to fight him. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That's what I saw on the fire. A mountain like an arrowhead. We're getting close. <sighs> Do you know what I like about you? You're not a hero. I've been heroic on occasion. <laughs> Heroes do stupid things and they die. Drogo, Jorah, Dario, even this. Jon Snow. It's interesting, these heroes you name, they all fell in love with you. Jon Snow fell in love with me. I suppose he stares at you longingly because he's hopeful for a successful military alliance. <laughs> if we want to create a new and better world, I'm not sure deceit and mass murder is the best way to start. We need to inspire a degree of fear, but fear is all Cersei has. It makes their power brittle, because everyone beneath them longs to see them dead. If that's the kind of queen you want to be, how are you different from all the other tyrants that came before you? This will be a difficult negotiation. My sister's likely to say something provocative. And you have been known to lose your temper from time to time. When have I lost my temper? Burning the Tarleys, for instance. That was not impulsive. Perhaps the father needed to die, not the son. We had no time to discuss the possibilities before you ended their possibilities. But the world you want to build doesn't get built all at once. Probably not in a single lifetime. You want to know who sits on the Iron Throne after I'm dead? Children? You say you can't have children. But there are other ways of choosing a successor. You've been thinking about my death quite a bit, haven't you? Is this one of the items you discussed with your brother in King's Landing? I'm Danny! Perhaps if you planned for the short term, we wouldn't have lost Dawn in Highgarden. We will discuss the succession after I wear the crown. I actually didn't even think of um think of that. How are their heads not fucking ice blocks? Oh, is that a wolf? Oh shit, where's ghost? Big fucker. Oh shit! Oh no! The bears have blue eyes. Mm, undead bears do. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> I've never screamed before. <laughs> oh my god! It's hilarious. Oh, it's on fire. Torment. Shit, Thoros! Come on, do something! Dragon glass. Fuck, did he just get totally mauled? He froze. <laughs> We're asking 20,000 men to fight with us in the worst winter any of them have ever seen. You question their loyalty? Their loyalty is to John. The king chose you to rule in his absence. The rule you have. But they respect you. Some may even prefer you. Here we go. If they found out that I wrote that letter, by the time John comes back, he'll have no army left. They may have disagreements, but you would never betray a family know her anymore perhaps lady brienne could help 
She's sworn to protect both of Catelyn Stark's girls. Fuck's sake. And if one of you were planning to harm the other in any way, wouldn't she be on a bound to intercede? She would. Look, look at him fucking digging his claws into her. Sansa, please keep your fucking wits about you.